this monthly bullet journal. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with the first cover page. Uh, this is going to be a bullet journal for August 2020. And I'm using this touch pen. Okay, so here I'm writing the name of the month in calligraphy handwriting. It's very easy as you can see. Since in August it's summer season, so I decided to go with a beachy theme. Hence, I'm just going to draw some starfishes and seashells. Okay, and now I'm drawing some sort of tangled draw, and I'm gonna hang an anchor in it. And to draw this anchor, I use my Sharpie fine point pen. I chose to do an August spread because it's my birthday month. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw a little calendar of the month, just to keep track of the days. And to make this page more colorful, I went in with my Sharpie peachy and blue markers. And then I went ahead and I added this little music player thingy because there's a song called August by Chasing the Planet and it's just beautiful. Okay, so moving on to the next page of this bullet journal, I'm going to draw a little wish list of needs and wants for this month. And now to keep the ocean, beachy, summer theme design going on, I went ahead and I added a light bulb with a little whale in it. And now moving on to my favorite page of this bullet journal, and it's the moon tracker. Okay, so I decided to draw two jellyfishes forming a circle and with some bubbles in the water around them. This idea was actually inspired from Pinterest. And when I saw it, I was just like, whoa, I could really do this in my bullet journal. Okay, so to represent how I'm feeling each day, I drew 31 bubbles for this month and each bubble I have to fill in with the mood I'm in this day. And so I numbered the bubbles from 1 till 31. Present the nudes by color. Okay, so I used really dark blue for elated, light blue for happy, 
purple for okay and a peachy orange for not okay. Okay, now I went in with my colored pencil just to add a light shade to the jellyfishes. And now let's move on to the most fun page to make. Okay, so as you can see, I'm drawing these parallel lines just to make a river that connects the two pages with some fishes in it. Okay, so these two pages represent week number one of August. Now, my birthday is on the 23rd, so it's not in this week. And probably that was too much information and no one cares, but I had to add that in. Okay, so now I'm using a ruler and my blue Sharpie to draw the days of the week. I'm using little squares. This Sharpie is very cute and I really like it because it has two tips. One that's fine and the other is a bit thicker. And now I'm going to draw the workout tracker and it's going to be shaped like an axe with the weights on the sides and it's going to be numbered from 1 till 7 because it's a weekly workout tracker. And I just color in the days that I work out in. And here I left a small space for a motivational weekly coat in a small space for notes. And now I'm gonna use this empty space to write down the song of the week. And now I'm gonna draw a couple of fish in this river that connects the two pages. Okay, just a quick notice, Carl Storm in the song just said, turn it to an ocean, so it kind of goes with the theme. And the song of the week is Earned It by The Weeknd. The Weeknd is just my favorite artist of all time. So guys, this was the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. I'll see you next time. Bye!